So Pete, I've noticed that uh, when I put a host into maintenance mode, it actually prompts me with what I want to do with vSAN. Uh, can you explain kind of what those choices are and why I would use them? Yeah, so we have uh, essentially three options when you're entering a host into maintenance mode, when it's a host that lives in a vSAN cluster. You have a full evacuation of data, which is just sort of as the name implies, it's going to move that data somewhere else uh, before it it fully enters that host into maintenance mode. Then there is an ensure accessibility option. This is going to only move data if it needs to, in order to keep the, the data fully available. But since the data is redundant in most storage policies, uh, this means that in this case, it's not actually going to move really any data. So this is a fairly efficient and fast method in which uh, you're going to be entering a host into maintenance mode. In fact, it's the default method and, and one that in most cases we're going to be uh, recommending. And especially with later versions of vSAN where we are using what's known as a durability component, this is going to be uh, writing the any sort of updates uh, to the VMs to a second location in addition to the original mirrored location so that then if there was some subsequent failure after that, uh, we know that all changed data is also stored somewhere else as well. So uh, the ensure accessibility option is the, is the default option uh, and one that we generally recommend in most cases. Now the third option, which is uh, no data movement uh, whatsoever, that one is really reserved for full cluster shutdown scenarios and um, isn't used much, but you know, again, if you have to, have to shut down the cluster, that's the one uh, to use because otherwise, if you didn't use that one, it would just keep shuffling the data around until you uh, got down to a few hosts left and then it wouldn't be able to really do anything, so.